Well, happy sunshine family. Welcome back. Lunacy's here and I've got another little interesting observation that just really made me smile and I wanted to bring that to you. It's in reference to the article that my last video was about. It's on the WBIR.com news website. And it was published on September 4th, 2017. And the author is just WBIR, right here. There's no journalist cited as having authored this article. And at the end is just 2017, WBIR.com. And we've talked about some of the wording and, and some of the ideas that are stitched together in this and in some of the citations going back to Southern Poverty Law Center, which we saw a couple weeks ago, the smear piece. And I guess it bears mentioning again that they don't say who the authorities are that are claiming that a woman, which would be Heather, is the champion of the sovereign movement. They're labeling her as a sovereign. And this is a sentence that follows the exact pattern of propaganda dissemination that the documentary Outfoxed speaks of. So, I'm just going to leave this page up here and I'm going to read to you an email or actually just parts of an email, uh, just some observations that were pointed out about this and these questions have been directed towards uh, WBIR.com to answer <clears throat> and I've been included in on the chain of emails <clears throat> so I'm going to redact all the personal information but here it goes I wanted to reach out to someone at WBIR after reading a story today there was a story about a pair of individuals, Randall Keith Bean and Heather Ann Tucci Giraffe. Is there any way you could point me in the right direction as far as who I could contact regarding who wrote the story? It only showed WBIR as the contact who wrote it, with no specific name to contact. It may just be how it is displayed on my mobile device but it didn't give me a specific name to contact. So it just so happens I randomly found you and read your bio and much to my surprise I found out we had quite a bit in common. I've been following the case for quite some time and unfortunately want to help strengthen the slant I feel has been applied based upon what I read in the story. I have read all of the court transcripts on this case and there is a very bright red flag that I think seems could be a much larger story. The main witness in this case is a man named Parker Still or Steel depending upon which official under oath spelling he gave to the court. If you were to read his testimony you may think he missed all of Coach Rector's English classes. He is apparently an FBI agent, attorney, Army JAG graduate from Charlottesville, Virginia, and has been a judge apparently. I have a very hard time believing this person is who he says he is. If Heather Ann and Randy are guilty, so be it, but the testimony itself is completely, completely aimed <clears throat> at making the evidence, or lack thereof, fit a crime. I better stop here because I could go on and on with this. If there is a way you could have someone call, text, or email me, 
I would love to discuss this and more with whomever wrote the initial story. I'm not blaming the slant on them, as I know the truth of this story lies a few layers deep. Thank you so much for your time, and I wish you the best in your career. So that's, that's very interesting. See, this is what I meant in my last video when I said there are some very smart, intelligent, articulate people that are following this case. And I just want to give a big shout out of love to this anonymous person for taking the initiative to reach out to WBIR directly and ask them some very direct questions. So I'll keep you posted if there's a response. I love you guys a lot. Thank you so much for all of the love, light, and links that are coming in. This just blows me away how this whole process is unfolding. So we'll be back soon. You guys sleep peacefully. Good night.